what's up everybody <clears throat> i'm kind of losing my voice so bear with me but uh i'm gonna read out of luke 8 um it's 8 27 through 30 it says but i say to you who hear love your enemies do do good to those who hate you bless those who curse you pray for those who, who abuse you to one who strikes you on the cheek offer the other also and from one who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your tunic either. Give to everyone who begs from you, and from one who takes away your goods, do not demand them back. And as you wish that others would do to you, you do to them.
Jason's helping me today. I think tomorrow I'll be by myself putting sand in. Hopefully we can get all the stone in. But all that pipe in there is perforated, which if you don't know what that means, it's got holes in it. So whatever water comes in, filters down through the sand and the stone, goes into that pipe. And as you can see right over there where it stops, it's got a 90 degree turn and it goes under the dam and out through out into the woods right over there so this is pretty much meant just to slow the water down any excess water um you know if we get a two or three inch rain will come in and just go straight into that outlet structure right there yeah if that's if we get a lot of rain but um most of it will come in this filter and filter out and go out that pipe. It uh, uh, it's supposed to the way these filters are supposed to work is the water's supposed to come in and stay no longer than 24 hours after it rains. So they're designed with big enough pipe and stuff that whatever water comes in, it'll all get out within a day. So it's not just, you know, holding water all the time. You get from mosquitoes and stuff like that around here. So most of it, I know y'all hadn't even seen it since they put the sod down. So they put the sod down before we put the filter in, just in case if it comes a rain or whatever and there won't be any more erosion into this filter because you can't have any any mud in this material or it will clog the filter up and that's not good because if it clogs up it's coming in here and digging it all back out and redoing it so we try to keep it as clean as we can. We will get a dirt clot or two here or there, but I mean, you know, something that comes off the tracks. You know, but I mean, as long as it's not too much, if there is any dirt. I, when I throw it in there, I'll bite it back up with a bobcat and take it out. You really don't want, don't want any, but you can. You can't keep it 100% perfect.
So we got all stony in now. Uh, he's slicking everything up. Um, and then we're gonna put another layer of fabric on top of it and uh, start putting our sand in. We're just putting concrete sand in, I think. I think it'll call for close to 20 loads. <laughs> 